Well, in your views, is it possible that if, it, if, if there indeed is such thing as extraterrestrial uh, unidentified flying objects, that they would be more likely to be artificial intelligence instead of normal intelligence, given time scales of travel near a star, what, two to three light years away, for example? I think, artif I think artificial intelligence is a, a, an extremely valid hypothesis. I've entertained it for many years. I think they would be the product of an advanced. I mean, we are, we're less than a generation away from having our computers talking to us and claiming possibly to be sentient themselves. This is what AI theorists, and they're all mainstream people. Uh, it's a very common belief, so I have to assume that um, some other civilization will have gotten to that point. As a confirmed physicist working on ring lasers at Wright-Patterson told me uh, in the 1990s that he had firsthand knowledge about the extraterrestrial story and that he, as a physicist, in the work that he was doing, that they knew, meaning the people that are involved with studying the phenomena in the government, that we are dealing with technology so advanced that they literally can bend space, time, and move point to point through the universe. And that physicist from Wright-Patterson at a table used what is now a metaphor generally in this whole subject. He took the napkin on the lunch table and he uh, put it and said, Linda, this is what they do. And he put one point and he did like this. This is space-time, that we're dealing with technologies that can bend space-time and put the corner to the corner. And that is why Euclidean geometry and time as we know it on this planet have no relevance to the phenomena and the intelligence that we're dealing with. Thank you.